Hello there, I'm um, Make It Quick. I received a lot of requests for this one thing that I was just doing a few days ago, which was a 5 16th against a 9 16th, which I just played on the kitchen table and a few devices. And really, what I just did, I just, you know, got back from Starbucks in the morning and just decided to do something, you know, for, you know, for my social media platforms. And it got a lot of response. And um, so. A lot of people were wondering how it would sound on the drum set. Um, well, he, therefore, I kind of think, you know, I'm going to demonstrate this real quick, uh, real quick what you can do with it. So, first of all, I would like to let you know that <laughs> it's sort of an independence exercise, really. And so, it is really, will you really need it in commercial music or in the music that you kind of, you know, perform with your band? Unlikely. Can you do it in the drum solo? Yes. Can you maybe compose with it and do like an eccentric piece of it or something? Yes, absolutely. I did that before in some of my pieces and using these kind of things. Um, and the other thing I'd like to explain is it's good to have horsepower, to have like headroom, okay? So even if you don't use it, it's fantastic to have it in your assortment as a language or as your, you know, extension of an alphabet. So whenever you can, you, you want, you can pull it out for some reason and surprise people or compose with it. It's knowledge, isn't it? It's, um, yes, it is mathematics, you know, but it's useful and it's musical. So, um, okay, I cannot look up here. And yes, I'm playing barefoot here. I'm at home. It's a pandemic, so I didn't bother putting shoes on. So, um, okay, also, uh, okay, here we go. Camera is running, everything should work. So the first thing is the 5 16th, okay? So I will kind of, you know, play it between, first of all, if you play it just with a snare drum and, let's say, the right hand on one tom, it sounds like this, okay? Okay, then the nine would be over here. So both, actually, against each other would sound like this. cycle ends. Then I put like the additional 16th note on the snare drum, you know, on the second beat, so to speak, and then kind of add the third one as a 16th note. So the five will become one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, okay, so uh, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, okay, so two, three, And the, the nine sixteenth will become this, two, three. Said that now I would like to make it a little more musical therefore incorporate melodies and this way it becomes sort of kind of a phrase almost like a hook right so I would play let's say the 5 16th pattern as it is with the additional 16th note at the very end between the hi-hat here and the snare drum okay so the 5 16th will become one two three, two, three, two, three, two, three. And then the 9 16th will be played between, let's say, four toms, okay? And I do have this kind of setup where I kind of put the 8 inch tom over here because mainly I spread out this way and I like the bigger toms in front of me, and this is more like an effect. Okay, so here we go, okay? So the 9 would be now. So let's now play both of these things together. Okay, so here we go. And it sounds like this. Two. Uh. Ah, I fucked it up. Here we go. Okay, so that was the cycle where it ends, okay? 
And um, so, you know, you kind of can, can incorporate it. Let's play it a bit faster in a groove, okay? phrase you know that kind of makes sense and doesn't just sound like an exercise <clears throat> well if we're like really crazy <coughs> sorry then you can obviously incorporate something else for example I could play a double paradiddle with my two hi-hats on top of it which would become 12 16th notes um, against 5 16th notes against 9 16th uh, so <clears throat> I would then use yeah, I don't know, it's, it's actually really necessary, but I guess, well, now I announced it, so might as well just go there, right? So, uh, I would play it this way, okay? Here we go, here's the double paradiddle, okay? Uh... Okay, and now we kind of all you know this paradiddle this double paradiddle and then I don't think about it anymore it's kind of sort of like a loop it works like completely embranded then you're right you know it's like walking you don't think about walking when you talk at the same time right I always say that but it's really the fact right so let's kind of play this and then slowly at the 5 16th between the gong drum and the snare drum and then the 9 16th on the toms Let's see if this works, and, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, here we go, and... Uh... you know for watching this um, and once again this is really just an exercise you know and um, but I try to make it musical so again does it make sense for your songs or something if you're playing in a pop or rock band maybe not but if you're kind of you know interested in a little bit of headroom do it let's see if I can kind of play it slow then speed it up and slow it down again hopefully I don't fuck it up let's see okay here we go Enough of this nonsense. Now I'm gonna have a cognac. Okay, good night. <laughs>